my god. What am I doing? upon weeks sometimes even three times a day every time I went on Instagram they showed me this comb and I was just like what are you doing what are you doing <sighs> so yeah they were really tempting me and I decided that fine you know what I'm gonna get this comb and I'm gonna test it out for my channel so you guys can see if it really works I'm not sure if you've ever seen this on your timeline or maybe you have Maybe you haven't, but I have. But we're gonna test it out today and see if it works well with 4C hair. I've seen a lot of white, white persons use this. And I've also seen a couple, of, not 4C, but curly hair girls use this comb. And it did seem to work a little bit. We'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. If this doesn't straighten my hair as good as I want it to be straightened, then I will go over with my fat iron. Hopefully I don't have to, but I will if I have to. And that's basically why am I still talking let's just jump straight into the video I'm gonna pull my hair out and then wash it and then blow dry it and then we're gonna come back and use this let me just show you guys what it looks like so as I said this is the packaging and I'm gonna slide it out like so Really bright. I take it out and comes with this. I think this is like this is a one year warranty. So if this thing is shit, I'm sending it back. And then the user manual. whatever it's user manual and then ooh. this is supposed to be one of those heat gloves that is supposed to protect your hands when you use you know what I'm saying this is it and this is the And this thing is supposed to be a 360 turn, so that's good. And they did send clips. Not bad. And then I'm guessing this thing is to store the comb. And there's also a card. Let me see. That's that and yeah, let me just start taking my braids down. I'm gonna start from the back. I'm hoping this doesn't take long. I have somewhere to be and I'm straightening my hair. I should have probably taken the beads off first, but I do stupid things sometimes.
I just finished pulling out my hair and this is what it looks like. I missed my hair so much. So we're gonna head to the shower, not we. We're gonna, I'm gonna head to the shower. I think there's something wrong with me. I'm gonna head to the shower and I'll see you guys there. So while I wash my hair, I'm switching to voiceover and the first thing I'm gonna do after I finish dancing is split my hair into two sections and work on one at a time. So first things first, I'm gonna drench my hair with some water. And now I'm gonna go in with my Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo and I'm gonna just lather my hair. Now since I didn't really get the opportunity to detangle my hair before washing it, I'm just going to use my fingers and rake it through my hair while I wear the shampoo in so that when it's time to actually comb it out, the process is a lot easier and it's not as painful. So after washing that shampoo out, I'm just going to put that section away and move on to the next. Now after doing that to both sides of my hair, I'm going in with my Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner and the Deep Conditioner. I didn't really need both of them, but I felt like my hair needed the extra nourishment after being in braids for like 4 weeks. So right now I'm just going to use my white tooth comb to make sure I detangle that section. And just to make sure I didn't miss any bumps, I'm going back over that with my Tangle Teaser, which is not really a Tangle Teaser, it's just a dollar store knockoff. And of course, you know, you gotta twist that section away to make sure it doesn't get retangled. So after letting both conditioners sit in my hair for a while, I'm going to wash them out. So I'm back from the shower and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm drained, I'm tired, my arms hurt. If you have natural hair, you know the struggles. But I'm going to let me do this. I'm going to use this heat protectant before I blow dry it and then that's basically it so keep watching So guys, I was so hot, I had to take that robe off and I went ahead and did this side of my hair and this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna do it over here. But before that, I'm gonna put this up so it doesn't get tangled and stuff. So once again, I'm going in with this, yeah, I'm, I'm drawing my hair in this thing, guys, like, I'm not trying to catch no heat damage over the hair, so I spray it all over. Then I go 
in with my blow dryer. Oh, so before before I start, I actually don't run the comb through the hair immediately. I go up and down like this. Um, I think that's called the tension method, and basically I do this until it's almost dry because I just like damp it. Do that until it's almost dry, and then I actually go through and comb it out. So yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm finished with the blow dryer. So I have the comb over here heating up. I might have to put it on higher heat if it doesn't work, but it's on the 374 degrees Fahrenheit. And I might have to bump that up to 410, but we'll see. So this is what we're working with. I'm really trying to rush and get this thing done, like really. They said you can use big enough sections. This isn't even that big, but I'm gonna use that. Guys. Wish me luck. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm detangling first. Taking the comb. Why should I put it this way? They said to start from the roots. Oh my god. What am I doing? I didn't do that very well. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Hold on. I can't get my roots done. this it's not going all the way through my hair and it looks like I'm doing multiple passes but I'm not because of how it's set up like I don't even know if it describe it but it's not like when I put it through my hair it doesn't stay through my hair unless I'm holding my hair like this out but I want it to be down not out you understand <sighs> whatever Guys, this is what it's looking like, and it's not, I repeat, not going straight. It's like 
it still kind of looks bloatish but up close you can see that it's it's more straight than a blow dryer but it's not like a flat iron type of look i'm okay with it i like how it looks so i'm just gonna continue okay guys so basically this is what it gave me it's not straight like you know when you use a flat iron your hair gets bone straight like it's not that it's just like a blowout a very straight blowout if you know what i mean so i'm just gonna add some curls to this and leave it as it is because it's one o'clock and i started at seven this morning so I'm way behind time, so guys, I'm curling and then I'll come back. So as you can see, sis, the brush ain't it, the comb ain't it at all. And it also said it could give me curls. Bruh. Do you see the girls? Cute, right? <laughs> I can't even wear my hair like this. Um, if you're going for that blow look, but you want a straighter version, then this is it. This is for you. If you want bone straight, straight hair, this is not gonna give you that, okay? So that's my final thoughts on it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair now. I have no idea. <sighs> None. Might just catch it up to the back or something because I don't know. And it also wasn't able to get my roots as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's not a disappointment. Like I really like it, don't get me wrong. But it's just not for the straight thing. And I did say I would flat iron it if it didn't work out good. But I don't have the time it's almost two o'clock and i have to go so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video to all your friends and family